Hey, Hank, you gotta see this, man. It's totally amazing. Yo, Blowfish! Hey, Blowfish, how's the little woman? Not little. <laughs> I discovered this guy. He's totally amazing. What do you do? I'm the human Blowfish. He's gonna bring back vaudeville. Will you do it for him? Now? Gotta fix the heater. Yo, you fixed the heater last week. Hey, I fix it forever. I'd be out of work. Well, that's why you gotta develop your natural talents. Come on, quick, do it before Fully gets back, okay? Aoki Hobbs, check this out. What? Dun, dun, Now, we can't hurt him. I mean, we gotta win, but we can't hurt him. Well, maybe we can hurt him just a little bit. This is crazy. We're going to school early to fight. This is ridiculous. What, Mr. I served 18 months for manslaughter? Is worried about a little fight? I didn't ask him to put that in my jacket. Well, it got put there, so nobody would think it was a win, which is what you are this morning. <sighs> hey, we're the McQuaid brothers, man. <laughs> we're rougher, tougher. We buy better drugs. All right, so let's buy some better drugs and get out of here already. Three weeks is getting kind of old. Today an ounce, tomorrow a kilo, step by step. Yeah, and by about midterms, we can bust the president of Columbia. What, the college or the country? Huh? Hey, there they are, Pancho. You take the little one, okay? The little one? Yeah. Look, okay. Let me lay out the rules. <laughs> Spare change. Yeah, we're gonna buy one of those metal detectors too. We should try looking in your home room instead. Relax, fans. They started it. No one thought you were gonna show. We're the McQuaid brothers. We had to show. All of a sudden, there's a reason to get here for first period. 1,500 bucks. You're gonna buy us a condo. <laughs> what was it, a gram, then an 8-track, then an ounce? What next? How about a half a key? A half a key? Yeah. We can handle half a key. Great. Well, I, for one, am very impressed. I mean, these guys are not small time. Okay, as long as you guys can handle that kind of weight, what do you say we make it a whole key? 
Lucky. Yeah, as in 2.2 pounds? Or haven't you guys studied the metric system? I have. Is that too tough for you guys to handle? Well, tell you what. I don't want you guys to feel like we're cutting you out, but if you take it straight to your source, I think we can manage a finder's fee, say, uh, 10%. 10? 10. Ten. Ten. That's, uh... 2500? For doing nothing. Think about it. Take your time, no. Take an hour. Let us know. Are you crazy? I had to go. Oh, oh, Key, why did you up us to a key? Because he looked like he was going to be able to handle half a one by himself. And we'd have never gotten up the ladder. It was a bluff. He looked like he had to go to the bathroom. We were in the bathroom. Are you guys on? Yeah, except Sonny Crockett here up this the whole key in 25 grand. It's fine. Really? Danny, get me the uh, ADA on that uh, Jefferson thing. Look, we'll have it packaged in 50s, all right? I want you to demand a public location, not too secluded. A uh, burger joint or something would be good. You're going to get us 25 grand. You got a problem with your hearing pinhole? No. All right, now back up or be there. They'll just stumble onto you and make the bus. You'll be juvenile out the next day. And then finally, the McQuaid brothers will be history. Captain Fuller, line two. Yeah, guys, my office. No, nope. then you're going to stay right where you are at West Union until the indictments on Ellie, Birch, and their supplier are handed down. It should be in about a week or two. Diane, how are you? To what do we owe this pleasure? One more college. I know I should make up my mind. May I just Xerox my letter of recommendation? Mr. Harris already let me read it anyhow. Oh, those files aren't really open to students. But you don't look too dangerous. How's your sister? Oh, Leslie's great. She can't wait till she's up here at the high school. And your dad. We missed him last week at the PTA meeting. Oh, that was my fault. It was his birthday, so we took him out to dinner. Guys? So you're the big wheeler dealers. All right. Fine. What are you giving these guys? Five percent. Finders fee. That's a lie. But that's okay. I don't care. You got something for us? I never carry anything more than my car keys. They've got something for you. Aren't you gonna count it? Nah. If it's not all there, I'll kill you. So why should I count it? There's some cops here. So what? They're here for lunch like us. Hey, babe. Use your way up. Supposed to be off campus this time of day? We're honor roll students, sir. We uh, get free time at lunch. Nice try. My kids went to West Union. There is no off campus. Okay, guys, come on, back to school. Come on, guys, up, up, up. You don't look like you're going back to school. Oh, uh, no, sir. I've already finished my educational process. Oh. You bring your lunch here? What you got in the stack? 
What, you got a warrant? A warrant? I got probable cause to open your cranium just looking at you, kid. <laughs> Drug dogs and a whole SWAT team. SWAT team? They had to. Tommy McQuaid always carries a gun. He killed someone once. He shot a cop? I don't know. But you know how they say when the smoke clears? You know how many bullets you have to fire for there to be smoke like that? Hello! What's the matter? Ain't you guys ever heard of bail? Watch, they give us detention for being late. But Mr. Harris, we couldn't come to class. We was in jail. Yeah. Two more weeks of school with nothing to do but be at school. Yeah, but you're forgetting. We're, We're the McQuaid brothers! Hat! Go away. Give me a jello. This is a waste of two highly trained, moderately paid city employees. We're doing nothing but waiting around to be witnesses. I hate doing nothing. Yeah, but it's fun. Hey! Hi. Does your mama know you're here? I mean, you know you could get diseases and stuff talking to us? Yeah, well, I'm gonna go get some more tartar sauce. All right, Diane, what do you want? Can I just talk to you for a minute? Yeah, what do you want, the load down on the big bust? Gonna write an editorial for the school paper? You really did the things people say you did. I know that. What are they saying? I know that they're true. Why don't you hit the road, Diane? You're finding it out, aren't you? What? That being a lowlife works, especially with them Girl Scout types you go for. You want to get dogs in this world, you got to be a dog. Think about it. my brother's seat. I need to know if it's true that you killed someone. Let's say it is, which is even more reason for you not to be here. Would you do it again? I don't know. I suppose if I had to, why? What's up? Would you do it for money? Diane, I don't think you want to do this. I have $1,700 saved. All I want to know is if you'll kill someone. You've done it before. Diane, what's up? Somebody give you a hard time in study hall? Give it a couple of days, it'll pass. I have $1,700 saved, that's all I have. I want to give it to you if you'll kill my father. Look, I can bring the money in tomorrow. Until the DA is convinced he can turn Ellie and Birch, Gibb is out on bail. This guy, Gibb, is serious. Three felony priors, including an assault with a deadly. You be real careful with your cover out there, because if he finds out who you are, he will kill you. And that generates massive paperwork, so don't let it happen.
freeze! Don't even blink! Doug, it's me, Tom. Oh, man, it must be late. I don't talk to you. Look, I've really got to talk to somebody. What time is it? It's almost four. Uh, you want something? No, no. Why didn't you call? You wouldn't have let me in. I know. Why didn't you call? Look at Doug. Can I talk to you? Yeah, I'm up. You're here. Let's talk. No, no. I mean, can I really talk to you, like, uh, off the record? Yeah, sure. I mean, we're friends. That's right. You're my friend. I can trust you. You wouldn't turn me in. You promise? What happened? What'd you do, man? All right. You know Diane Nelson? Mm-hmm. She, uh, she, uh, she, uh, she, uh, what? She offered me $1,700 to murder her father. What? Yeah. She asked you to participate in a special circumstances class A felony murder? Of her father? I'm telling Fuller. No, wait a second. No, no, you you're my friend. And now I'm implicated. All right. All you do is sign the report. It's dated. It's all on paper and you're covered. You give it to me. I stick it in my back pocket. Forget to turn it in. It's my fault. I don't like it. What's not to like? You did everything by the book. It's my fault. Fine, but I still don't like it. What are you guys doing here in the middle of the day? With the McQuaid brothers, coach, we can skip class to keep up with our paperwork. Ha! The assignment did not end with the bust. And I'm not thrilled with the attitude here. You ought to be in school, on time, or on time for the McQuaid brothers. Ha! From now on. Ooh, we were no, no buts. We understand each other? Listen. This is nuts, man. Tommy, I hope got something for you if you want it. We can't do it here. Come on. Mrs. Braverman lets me use this room to study if I have an off period. Well, I guess being good has its advantages, huh? Here. Put that away. You said you'd do it. No, I never said I'd do it. I didn't even say I'd think about doing it. Maybe I will and maybe I won't. You can give me the money when the job is done, OK? OK. Now, Diane, I got to know why I'm doing this. Why does it matter? I'm paying you. Because it interests me, Diane. You want me to whack the guy? I kind of like the idea of knowing why. Now. What is it? Is it money? Is he a hard guy? Does he beat you? You got bruises on those pretty little arms of yours? Just take the money. Look, nothing you could say would surprise me. It doesn't matter. Either you're going to do it or you won't. It doesn't matter. Maybe you're not as tough as they say you are. Maybe. Maybe I don't like the idea of going into this thing blind. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, it's the only way. Then I'll let you know. Keep an eye on that money. There's a lot of shady characters around here. <laughs> so, who is this? It's just a girl. Look, I'm not generally available for other people's paperwork, Hanson. What's all the mystery? It's nothing. It's just that I've been busy working on a case. Hey, could I have that? You're not working on a case, Hanson. You were on a case. And you already made the bus. Will you lay off Harry now? What'd you get from me? There wasn't really much. We got a family disturbance once, but it's not surprising there's nothing there. It's not? Well, I mean, it's not hard to quash something like this when you have rank. 
rank. Clarence Nelson. Her father's Clarence Nelson, man. Head of the administrative branch. He's a cop. You didn't know? Holy cow. Who is she? Oh, uh... She's just a girl. Excuse me, I'm here to pick up the Nelson files. Yeah? Well, I got no paperwork on it. Who requested it? Captain Nelson requested it. He requested his own file? I gotta have some kind of okay. Are you gonna call him? Don't bother. Just go sign on for foot patrol. Look, Officer uh, Raskin, this man lives for paperwork. He runs administrative. If you don't have the release, it ain't because he didn't send it. It's because you lost it. But hey, that's all right. Make the call. You're going to see sections of downtown you never dreamed of. Hey, whoa, where are you going? Paper gets lost around here all the time. Come on. Come on. Yeah? Can I trust you? I don't know. I don't know you that well yet. Maybe you can, maybe you can't. Your call. Look, this girl asked me to kill her father. Okay, so I did the wrong thing by not turning her in, but I didn't know what to do. I'm new at this. You've been doing this for 20 years, but I'm new. This is a Class A felony. This is a special circumstances request for murder, which in this state means she can go to the chair for this. You said on this report? It's my fault. My partner diligently completed the report. Yeah, sure, I... sure. Pinhole. I had no knowledge of my actions. Get in here. Don't ever give me my partner did this and I did that. That's junior league. B, this was a felony. You don't hold back felonies. Is that clear? Yes, sir. Is everything in this report? Yes, sir. No. What more? Diane's father is Clarence Nelson. Captain Clarence Nelson, head of administrative. Oh. oh, this just gets better and better. This afternoon, I scammed the clerk at records into letting me see his personal files. How'd you do that? I presented myself as Captain Nelson's assistant. Look, in addition to several family disturbances that were quashed, this man's got a file like a Swiss cheese. The implication seems to be one of illegal activity, sir. Uh-huh. And how would you classify your activities of this afternoon, Officer Hansen? All right, Hansen. Sirs and procedures aside, you think there's a case here? Yes, sir, I do think there's a case. Maybe I've got the clearance to pull the rest of his files. Or I'll cash in a couple of favors downtown. All right, Hanson, you go back. You turn down this offer of assassinating a police captain. You give me the report. I'll sit on it. That way I'm responsible. one that carries the gun, right? We gotta do this, right? 
This must be the time then. Right? I know, I know. Gotta go see the principal. Perils of being a McQuaid. Where's McQuaid number two? Good question. Look, Diane, I'm gonna have to turn you down. Would your brother do it? Not a chance. Is it the money? If I got more money, could you do it? I could maybe borrow some from someone or sell something. Look, Diane, I just ain't gonna do it, all right? It ain't happening. And you're not equipped to do it, so why don't you just leave it alone? You do it! Look, you said you'd do it. You said you'd do it. Look, Diana. Just go away. Go away. I don't know why we let you back in here after your arrest, Douglas. It's a little custom called innocent until proven guilty. Perhaps. But I'm beginning to think that our halls would be safer without you in them. <sighs> halls, huh? Hey, I was just washing my hands when Moses and Max Mutant here decided to redecorate the bathroom. I was an innocent bystander who got in the way of their artistic frenzy. I find that hard to believe. He attacked us without warning. I attacked the two of you. What am I, stupid? Enough! A week's suspension for each of you, and two weeks for you. Is that justice or arithmetic? There's two of them, so they get a week apiece? How would you like three? Well, it's not what I had in mind. Well, that's what you got. It wasn't like I asked them to suspend me. It just happened. The only reason why it got out of hand is because I had to take on both of them and win. And where were you anyhow? I was a little busy telling Diane I couldn't murder her father tonight. Oh, that. Well, this tapped out my favors downtown for a while. This is oblique stuff, guys. I mean, it's not a case. We're talking between the lines here. Four years ago, Nelson's wife died. There were a series of domestic disturbances that followed, all quietly suppressed. An appearance in family court that got canceled. And the family court date was about truancy. And not long after the death of her mother, Diane ran away and lived with her aunt for a while. She's back with her father now. Oh, yeah, there was a confidential recommendation for counseling of some sort. And even I couldn't get to that file. I don't get it. What does all that mean? I think I know. I think we're looking at sexual molestation. And this guy's a cop. Maybe you should whack him. Maybe I'll do it for you. Now, wait a minute. We could be wrong. Maybe we're misreading all of this. Look, if we're wrong, we're wrong, and I'll get a reprimand. But if not, you need to get that girl out of there. And to do that, you need to get her to file charges. I don't think that's going to happen, Coach. I mean, even the time that I spent with her. Well, I guess we write this one off and move on to another case. Now, wait a minute. I'll get it done. This time, if she holds back, she's going to Hate me when I'm through, but I'll get it done. Hi. Hi. You didn't have any groceries? No, I, uh, followed you here. I want to talk to you. You haven't changed your mind. No. Diane, I'm not who you think I am. I was at West Union to buy drugs. I know that. No, no, I'm a, I'm a cop. Really. I'm a cop. What do you want? I want to talk to you about your father. All this was to get to my father? You came to me. You asked me to kill him. We pulled his records. We understand what's going on. Nothing's going on. It was all a mistake. Diane, look at me. I want to help you. But you got to help me. I don't want your help anymore. Am I in trouble? You didn't do anything. How can I be in trouble? Diane, your father. He touches you, doesn't he? You wanted to kill him because he's sexually assaulting you. He probably has been for years, maybe since your mother died, maybe before. You never knew my mother. How can you talk about my mother? 
What do you want? I want you to file charges. It's the only way I can help you. It's the only way I can get you out of there. You would just get me back. I've tried everything. Nobody will believe me. I even tried calling the cops in the beginning twice. It didn't work. It won't work this time. This time's different. I'm not some beat cop who just shows up. I believe you. Come on. I'm going to be late. I have to go home. Look, I won't file charges. Don't bother me again, OK? Get you something? Oh, no. Yeah, a glass of water. Ice water, please. One ice water. <sighs> you don't drink? I drink when I drink. I'm mad when I'm mad. I don't drink not to be mad. Yeah? You make that a draft. She won't file charges. She's terrified of her father, and not without good reason. She called before, and Dad shut it up. Every one of those secret files is when she tried to call out, and we wouldn't help her. Did you lean on her hard? And you didn't just ask nice. I didn't just ask nice. I broke that girl down in the produce section. She admitted what was up. She cried, she turned me down, and then she finished her shopping. Captain, we got to do something. How could she stay in that house? She's got a way out, but she won't take it. We can get her out of the house, but it won't be a pretty scene. Kidnapping's still an offense, but don't think it didn't cross my mind. We can have her arrested for the solicitation of murder rap. She'll be booked, processed, and held in the juvenile facility. Then, if she's being molested, we can get the solicitation charge dropped because of mitigating circumstances. Hey, man, you want to put her into juvenile holding? Come on, Captain. She's the victim here. Look, I said it wouldn't be pretty, but it will get her out of there. And once she's out of that environment, Dad isn't there every day. It's a step in the right direction. It's the only one I can see. Let's do it ourselves. I don't want some face in a uniform to walk in there and bust her. Come on, you got rank, I got a badge. Let me walk in there and take her out myself. That's not exactly regulation. Come on. All right, I can have you in arrest warrant by dawn. But we're enough on the line already. Don't screw this up. Can I help you? Yeah, I'd like to see Diane Nelson, please. Who is it, Leslie? Some boy who wants to see Diane, Daddy. Diane. Thank you. Diane, there's a boy here for you. What do you want? Why don't you do what you need to be doing in the kitchen? What do you want? Go away! Get your little sister out of here now. Do it. Leslie. Go over to the Hendersons. Stay there. Don't come out for anyone. Not even dead till I come get you. Why? Just do it, OK? Diane, you can't stay here. I'm going to place you under arrest for the solicitation of murder of your father. Now, you're not going to end up in jail. It's just a way to get you no. out. No! No, I can't. I won't. It's not your choice. If I walk out, two uniform cops are going to come in here and walk you out in cuffs. I can't! What's going on here? He's trying to make me go with them, Daddy. Don't let him make me go! Diane is not going anywhere. I'm Officer Tom Hansen, sir. Captain Nelson, your daughter is under arrest for the solicitation of your murder, which we believe to be the result of an ongoing pattern of sexual abuse and is currently under investigation. Now, I have a warrant for her arrest. I'd like to see your badge. I'm gonna have to ask you to stay there, sir. Diane, come on, let's go. Diane, you're not going anywhere. You're staying back! You just take your hands off all my toes. You all right? 
I shot him. I'm sorry, I had no choice. Are you okay? Yeah. Get an ambulance. We screwed up. given her a sedative and they're going to take her down to the hospital. She said she hired you to kill her dad. Officer Hansen was here to execute an arrest for that crime. The arrest of a very troubled little girl. Looks like he tried to live up to his contract. That's out of line. Captain. Withheld paperwork, cops shooting cops, murder contracts. The press is going to have a field day. I, however, officially have no opinion yet. Officer Hansen, I'm going to have to ask you for your gun and for your badge. I gave it to another officer in there. May I have your badge, please? The rest of the IAD team is waiting to question you downtown. No cuffs. It's procedure, Captain. No cuffs, Detective. That's my procedure. Haven't we had enough of your procedure for one day, Captain? Panzano, it's all Dixon, right. Officer it's Hansen, okay. thank you. Would you escort this gentleman down to IED, please? Mm. Okay, well, keep me posted. Nelson's gonna live. He ain't gonna say anything for three or four days, but he's gonna live. Am I under arrest? No. You're under investigation. Is there anything you want to add to your statement? No. It's quite a document. You like this part of the job, don't you? Now, this young lady came in from out of the blue. She asked you to murder her father, who turned out to be a cop. Yes, that's the way it happened. Yeah, I'm not arguing. So far, your story backs up. I think you went in there to do exactly what you said. I think you took an unorthodox approach, but that's up to the review board. So maybe we can leave, find a place that serves better coffee. Let me lay this out for you, Captain Fuller. We have a chief administrative cop who your man shot for whatever reasons, who apparently, on a long-term basis, was sexually abusing his eldest daughter. Now, that's page one for at least a week. You're going to get tried in the press, and you're going to lose. Is my father dead? He's going to be all right. I'm glad, I guess. Am I going to jail? No, I don't think you're going to go to jail. Look, my real name is Tom Hansen. I can't tell you how sorry I am. I made you do it. No, you didn't make anybody do anything. Feel all right? Just tired, I guess. Must be those pills. I just want to make sure you're okay. I can go. No, stay. You kept coming back. Even though you wouldn't let me hire you, even then you kept coming back. I was worried about you, Diane. I know. Are you going to go to jail? Well, some of that could depend on you. Look, I know it's going to be very hard, but a lot of people are going to come here and want to talk to you about what happened. 
Some of them are gonna be doctors, some of them are gonna be police officers. I don't want to talk about what happened. I just want it to go away. Nobody can make you talk about anything you don't want to talk about. Good, then it's fine. My father molested me. really want me to talk about this. I think a lot of people could be helped from it. <laughs> no one's going to like me. No one's ever going to like me again. <laughs> I'm disgusting. <laughs> They're yours again for now. And some good news. Doesn't look as if Diane's gonna have to face the solicitation of murder charge. The DA has stated that if it can be shown that the act was precipitated by her beleaguered emotional state, he won't file. What if he can't? She's under 18. Any judge who wants to be reelected between now and the second coming would let her walk with probation. You know, I really hate her father for what he did. It's a sickness. Doesn't even deserve your hate. Maybe your pity. Maybe. You ever shot anybody? Yeah. I never shot anybody before. I know. How do you feel? I don't know. I guess I'm just waiting for it to hit me. Uh... Well, let it when it does. See somebody. Take some time. Okay? Yeah. What's gonna happen to Diane? Well, my guess is she'll um, elect to be her sister's guardian. The police department's gonna have to cough up some change. She'll get therapy. She's young. She's got a good chance, Hanson. Get your badge back? Yeah. Good, because Ellie and Birch are dealing again. I don't think this is the time. Hey, are you a cop? Yeah. Well, now's the time. Man's right, Hanson. Go earn your check. Sorry I didn't knock. Hey, we heard you guys were back. We just took a little break, that's all. Yeah, shop's open, man. These guys never learn. We heard you guys were back. These guys never learn. Guys, we got some bad news. Everybody up against the wall. You guys police? Yeah. Hey, like, you can't see No, you can't. Yeah. Uh-huh. Now that's more like it. I feel silly doing this. Don't. It's a walk along the beach. I mean with you. I want to spend some time with you, Diane. Nobody made me. OK. Are you allowed to do this? No. <laughs> now I really feel silly. Forget it. How's stuff? I'm OK, I guess. You know what they tell me? They tell me it's not like I have leukemia or I'm going to die. There were times when I wanted to die. It's funny. It was almost harder on my sister. No, I kind of knew it was coming. Well, supposedly, the worst thing that someone can do is not tell anybody. But I can understand you're holding back. I was going to get out anyhow. I was going to go away to college. Then I realized I'd be leaving my sister. I missed the part of him that was a father. There were good parts to him, too. Everybody seems to forget that now. You should be able to keep those parts, shouldn't you? What he's got is a, a disease. It's not like it can't be dealt with. 
You know, you never really fooled me, Tom Hansen. Tommy McQuaid, tough guy. <laughs> you were under there. Thank you. No, no, no. Thank you. You don't bowl, do you? 